Ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues, uh, let me join uh, Minister Akhanoush in uh, welcome, welcoming you for a second time to Marrakech. It's a real pleasure to have you here. Uh, thank you for coming uh, in such a large number. Uh, let me also thank FNB for their spirit of cooperation, their professionalism. It's a real pleasure to work with you and uh, view this as a long term uh, partnership. Indeed, uh, I'll reassure you I won't be very long. I, in fact, I only have one message uh, that I'd like to convey. As an African company, OCP is fully committed uh, to contribute to grow uh, the African uh, agricultural sector. Uh, and this is not only because we are African, uh, but because we are believers. As the minister alluded to, uh, in Morocco the right combination of public policies and private sector commitment, not only in terms of producers as OCP but also distributors, and I recognize some of our partners in Morocco here, uh, that right combination has already given, uh, provided uh, strong growth of the agricultural sector in Morocco. Uh, the policy was alluded to, it's uh, Morocco Plan Vert, uh, and the commitment of operators like OCP and distributors really comes in many shapes or form that can only piggyback uh, strong uh, and proactive public policies. We believe the same success factors uh, should be at play in, in Africa and bring tremendous growth. We are really believers. We've seen it. We've also started working with uh, in several African countries with the partners and colleagues that are here and I'm very happy to, to see them again and welcome them. Uh, but we, we think there are a few ingredients and I'll, I'll cite them. Uh, maybe five ingredients. One is dedicated volumes from producers. This is what we have done for the past few years at OCP. When I say dedicated volumes to Africa, you may be surprised. Uh, Africa was by and large treated as an afterthought for fertilizer producers. There was not dedicated volume and we were culprits as much as uh, others. What we have done over the past few years is dedicate volumes for the African markets. And that has made tremendous difference because it provides visibility to the distributors and they can feel secure to grow their market. That is very important. In fact, our next move that we will announce uh, in a few weeks is not just dedicated volume, but dedicated industrial capacity for Africa in partnership uh, with other African companies. I think that's an important ingredient. It provides visibility, predictability, and that's a key to provide, uh, to help downstream operators uh, invest uh, and trust the market and trust that they will have the product for the market. The second ingredient is, again, not thinking that Africa is just an afterthought, is to, to have dedicated and tailored products for Africa. Local conditions are, are key. It is not just a matter of bringing products that have worked uh, elsewhere to Africa. OCP has and is in the process of developing specific fertilizer products for Africa that are tailored to the condition. Not just because uh, it makes sense in terms of costs and, uh, and productivity, uh, but also it helps, uh, it, is, it is key that agricultural development Africa happens without some of the uh, mistakes uh, and problems that have occurred in other regions. Uh, it is key that the right fertilizer goes to the right soil for the right crop in Africa more than elsewhere. This is why, as the, uh, His Excellency alluded to, we've not only uh, worked on a soil fertility map for Morocco, but I'm very happy and satisfied of progress we have made in other African countries, in particular Mali, where we have, uh, with the help of INRA, 
the local, the Moroccan Research uh, Agricultural Research Institute uh, developed a big program for uh, creating a soil fertility map for, for Mali. And uh, I'm happy that this project uh, is moving forward uh, in the right direction. This is all within a framework I would call of reasoned and balanced fertilization. And we support very strongly IFA's efforts, uh, long-standing efforts in, in that matter. Uh, fertilizer producers are very conscious that they have, beyond just producing fertilizer, they have to help uh, and be very proactive. And in the lead, indeed, in the, driving, in the driver's seat in terms of bringing balanced and reasoned fertilization. But that's extremely important to start with this in Africa. Uh, most important ingredient, the third ingredient for us, most important, is work with local partners. And this is why our, you know, we, are not on, we consider ourselves a local uh, African company, but we uh, are making uh, important efforts to seek uh, like-minded partners in Africa, whether they are distributors or uh, other kinds of partners. Why? Because, as I said, the right product for the right soil, for the right crop, well, that's innovation, that's R&D. Uh, and R&D and innovation are local, they, are not, uh, they have to be local. Fourth ingredient, I said it, but I repeat it, this can only happen if the right policies are in place, and indeed, beyond the right policies, if a true public-private partnership is in place, where right policies and uh, operators and private sector commitment go hand in hand and reinforce each other. The fifth, I promised five ingredients, the fifth ingredient uh, that we are also committed to is supporting conferences like this one. So we will continue to support it because it is to support it because it's a practical conference. It's, uh, we want it to lead to solutions, uh, to be on the ground. So that's the fifth ingredient we will continue to it's a good ingredient. Okay. Uh, simply, you know, what happens here, uh, as far as OCP is concerned, is a basis for action. So we're very happy to have you here in such large number, looking forward to what you come up with uh, and looking forward to meeting uh, newcomers. Thank you very much.